OK, so what you've been used to using in the grand scheme of things is uh, something called explicit equations. So equations that were written of the form y equals 3x minus 7 or y equals x squared plus 5, or y equals uh, sine x. And, and in all of these three cases, uh, what we have is a situation where you've got y equals some function of x. So what we're saying is that we can write y explicitly in terms of a function of x. OK? So in general, y equals some function of x, OK? That's what we would mean by an explicit equation. Now, that doesn't mean that really effectively the same equation can't be written in another way. Because, for example, that first one there, y equals 3x minus 7, I could just add the 7 to both sides. And this is no longer an explicit equation because I am not writing y explicitly in terms of a function of x. In fact, I've got that y plus 7. So it's not in this format anymore. And when it's not in that format, it's not an explicit equation. We would refer to it as an implicit equation. And there are other ones that we've come across that would be written this way. So, for example, x squared plus y squared equals 1, the equation of a circle centered at the origin with radius 1. And, you know, you can go to town on this. You could say, well, you could have sine x plus y squared minus 3x y to the 7 equals um, 5 minus e to the y. I don't know, something like that. There is uh, another equation. It is implicit, OK? Um, and so... In this case, x's and y's are appearing on either side of the equation. Okay, So really, what I'm saying is that um, there are just these different ways of writing down an equation. And in the majority of cases, we are used to working in explicit form, especially when we are differentiating. In all the times that we've differentiated, we've always started off with a y equals some function of x to differentiate, regardless of whether we've been doing basic differentiation, chain rule, product rule, quotient rule, any of that, it's all been with explicit equations. So the question is, can I differentiate um, an implicit equation rather, uh, without having to rearrange it into explicit form first? Okay, Can I differentiate x squared plus y squared equals 1? Could I find the gradient function for it? Could I find a dy by dx that matches it? Could I find one for this? That is what we're going to be looking at in the next few videos.